Good morning, friends. It's the 15th of September. A couple of things I want to cover. Um, begin with, uh, well, it, it's all clown world issues. Uh, there was an interesting statement that came out. Uh, I believe it was Blinken that, that made it. Uh, as far as the, uh, the war in Ukraine. The United States does not see any perspective for peace that upholds interests of the United States. So there you go, folks. Clown world number one for the day. Anybody still think that Zelensky or any of his uh, little corrupt uh, maggots there are in charge of anything? You're fooling yourself. This is Biden and his uh, junta, all the way from the start to the end. Same thing for the Europeans. In fact, there's a German general whose name escapes me at the moment, who said, oh, he sees the war going to uh, 2029. Because by then, they'll be able to break uh, the Russian economy. Yeah, there just won't be anybody left alive on Ukraine, Poland, uh, the Baltics, and possibly in Germany itself. I mean, how do you figure? Ukraine has suffered over half a million casualties, dead. Add to that, possibly another uh, almost as many invalids that aren't coming back to the battlefield. Out of a current population of somewhere between 18 to 20 million. The new Minister of Defense, who by the way, uh, as soon as he became new Minister of Defense, there was a video that came out uh, where, uh, from about eight years ago, where he was uh, getting very intimate with a cucumber. No, no, he didn't have a female partner with him. He, he, he and the cucumber. Yeah, um... Go figure. But hey, it's Zelensky. It's, uh, that's why they're loving him. Of course, this guy is uh, Muslim, and he's supposed to bring in the, uh, uh, the Muslim side, uh, the world, to, uh, to support the United States and its little adventure on the genocide of, of uh, Slavs in Ukraine. But um, yeah, most Muslims who see that they pretty much are disgusted by him. Plus, he belongs uh, to, uh, he's tied to various radical uh, regimes, anti-Turkish regimes, and so on, Gurun. But he's not going to help any from that point of view. But cucumbers beware. Anyways, the guy said, you know, under Ukrainian law, boys can get married at 16 and become fathers. But they have to wait to 18 to serve their country. Get the point? Yeah. All those 16-year-olds, you ain't going to live to see 18 unless you're surrendering. That's about the only way you're going to ever live to see 18, or probably even 17. You're meat. And when the 16-year-olds run out, there's always 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 6. You know, how old does a child have to be to hold a grenade and die gloriously for the will of the Americans and their puppet regime, Zelensky, or whomever else they replace Zelensky with by that point? Um, I mean, Zelensky's dead man walking anyways. He's, his usefulness is about up. And so is that transvestite thingamadig that is now the, uh, the American uh, face of the, uh, uh, for the English language minimal, English language uh, side of uh, the Ukrainian information war. It represents, that, that, that's the only pronoun I'm giving it, is it. It represents uh, the Ukrainian army, armed forces. The guy that chopped off his uh, wanker and put a wig on and put some fake tits on. You ain't a woman, and you ain't ever going to be a woman, and you're still going to die a man. And, okay, well, you'll, you'll die male, let me rephrase that, you're, have, you're not a man. So anyways, who's, by the way, is threatening uh, that uh, next week uh, the Ukrainians are going to uh, kill off all the, uh, going to start killing off all the journalists and uh, bloggers and all the other stuff, stuff uh, pro, uh, pro-Russian, or, or anyway, tell them the truth is basically what, what, that, th- what that little uh, devil's handmaiden uh, is, is uh, stating. So for those American uh, journalists, uh, wash your backs, because the U.S. government sure so isn't going to help you. Not when the, death, the, not when the murder, death, uh, kill list is registered in Langley, Virginia, the Ukrainian one. So you know the Biden regime would just as happily get rid of all of you. Yeah, sure, they'll put a Ukrainian flag sticker on your forehead when you're dead and blame it on, on some Ukrainian oligarch. Same one that's floating around blowing up pipelines and things like that. And all the other little uh, fairy tales for the mentally decap- uh, decapitated uh, to believe in. 
I mean, you, you've got to be stupider than a brick to believe anything coming out of Washington. I mean, that can't even make shit up. That's that passive and the least minimal scrutiny. But of course, the U.S. Uh, education system's rock bottom and, and, and sinking even further. So I guess uh, for the average low information voter, it's good enough. So, anyways, so yeah, so that's that's uh, Clown World One, and, and with the Germans, for Clown World Two. I mean, twenty twenty nine. Germany, you are de-industrializing at, at an astonishing speed. Duren had it right. Uh, they they st <laughs> they stated, you know, uh, what took England ten years in deindustrialization, Germany's accomplished in one. Let's see what happens in six more years. You'll be rubbing two sticks together to get a fire, living in caves, echo caves. But uh, there was a new commercial uh, that came out. I'll put it on my uh, Telegram page. From a, a, I believe it's an American company, in Ukrainian, about how you don't have to just bury your heroes. You can now put them in an echo bag that'll help decompose them, and a, a, and a shrub will grow out of them. And you can make gardens over it. You know, cemeteries don't have to be sad places anymore. You can garden on cemeteries. Yeah, right. So you know your your uh, brothers, uh, sisters, fathers, uncles—they're not just dead. They're part of you now because you're eating off of their bodies. You know, cannibalism with with a, a extra uh, layer of insulation in between. Oh yeah, it's it's uh, watching this is just mind boggling. The uh, the insanity. I think it was an American company, may have been another a Netherlands uh, company, but either way, it's West. And the West Satanism uh, added full full scale, full frontal assault of Satanism. Whether you believe in the, the devil or you don't believe in the devil, you're still supporting that same thing. Dehumanization. Transhumanization. Same thing. Transhumanism is dehumanization. So, that's clown world number two. The Americans are driving the, the crazy train and all the West has climbed aboard. And for all of you people who aren't insane... You gotta better start becoming insane, or you better start packing your bags, because there's not gonna be any room in between. But all most of you'll still wait to the last minute, just like history always teaches. Most people will wait to the last minute and go, "Oh, let's time to run." When the gates have closed, and you've got a rifle barrel in your forehead, and off you go to the camps, become soap or become fertilizer. Oh, yeah, they'll put, they'll uh, bury you guys in the same little bags and and plant. Uh, Sustainable crops over your corpses to feed the the masses. They also go to salient green right off the bat. So think about that. Think about as uh, your children's lives, whether they get to live or whether they're brainwashed uh, and brainwashed into uh, effective uh, vegetables, or they get to get dead along with uh, the parents. Whether your children's lives is worth you sitting on your arse and doing nothing. This is pretty much of all about too late to overthrow or to uh, change these governments. D definitely by vote. Vote's not going to change anything. you got to figure that out already. I mean, Germany is trying to ban the second biggest and most popular party, uh, alternative uh, future for Germany. I mean, they've been name-calling the, these conservatives for years now. No, the party didn't exist uh, six, seven years ago, of course. But they've been uh, name-calling them Nazis, fascists, whatever. But they're not. That's obvious enough. It had some elements at the very beginning they got rid of real quick. But they're not. But, and their, their popularity keeps growing, so now the German uh, elites are working on banning the party. Second party in Germany. It's uh, post, uh, poised to become the first party in Germany. So there you go. There's freedom for you. Of course, I mean, democracy, Zelensky is the champion of democracy. Because he banned uh, everything. All opposition parties arrested the leadership. Oh, well, some he had assassinated right off the bat. There was even one of his thugs that was bragging uh, that they, in the local city, they drove out all the opposition people and just beat them, bludgeoned them to death with baseball bats on the edge of the city, dumped their bodies in a bog. That is American democracy for you, ladies and gentlemen, right there. That's what Blinken, uh, that's what Biden, that's what Sullivan, all of them are telling us. These guys are defenders of true democracy. It's their democracy. 
And in their democracy, you keep democracy by bludgeoning uh, everybody else upside the head with a baseball bat. Literal, not f uh, figurative. And then confiscate their property. Nationalize all the media. Just so they all repeat Zelensky, whatever that, that cocaine uh, fiend decides for the day. Or his handlers. And he canceled elections, of course. But he did, you know, uh, because, you know, canceling elections, that, that was just a, a step too far. Stealing elections is normal. That's the American way. Stealing elections. Whether you're hiring alcoholics uh, or druggies for a pack of cigarettes to vote or the dead keep rising to vote, that, uh, that's a Chicago favorite. Um, or you're just plainly just stealing elections by counting extra ballots, you know, mi millions of extra ballots. Uh, it doesn't matter. That's the American way. That's uh, that's what you do with elections. You steal them, but you have elections, so that peons feel that they've actually done something. You know what did Mark Twain say 140 years ago? If elections saw, if elections, uh, if elections solved anything, they'd be banned. And what can you say? Zelensky banned them. But then uh, Washington got on his case because that's, that's just a little step too far. I mean, we know he's going to win, and he's going to win with a landslide because, you know, we're going to make sure you're going to win with a landslide, but you got to hold him. Oh, well, Zelensky said, yeah, okay, thanks, uh, Master. I understand. I need to hold him. Go pay for it. It'll cost you $5 billion. $5 billion American. Give me $5 billion American, and I'll have your kangaroo elections. I don't think the elections in the U.S. cost $5 billion. But I guess, you know, uh, everybody who partakes is going to need a new mansion in uh, Malibu. That $5 billion will cover those new mansions in Malibu, like Zelensky's. So, you know, keep paying, suckers. I mean, you're the peasants that have to support the, the new elite, the cocaine uh, elite of Ukraine, as well as your own elite. But if you think elections are going to result in any anything, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. You're part of the problem. Those elections, there are no elections, free elections anywhere in the West. Gone, bye-bye, if they ever, ever existed. And if you think you still have time to do anything else, oh, I'm going to go off the grid. Good luck with that in the modern society. One, two, three people maybe go off the grid. And maybe they won't find you in the desert in a deep uh, state park. Or maybe they will. Not much of a life going off the grid forever. I mean, it's, it's a way of escaping, I guess. People escape to do... <laughs> cave systems, places like that to, to get away from the Nazis. But they knew the Nazis would be overthrown. So three, four, five years. You're looking for the rest of your life. Everybody else is going to go to camps. And try going off the grid in Europe. <laughs> hey, Europe ain't that big. Well, the portion of Europe we own is pretty damn big. The rest of Europe ain't that big. Not that many places you can go off the grid and stay off the grid. But somebody noticing. Drones flying by or something of the sort. But anyways... So your time's about up. You know, if, uh, if you're smart, start acting. If not, wait for the trains. This will be, hey, you won't be the only one going. So, have fun. God bless.